trick to start off the day. Now, the first thing you need to know is magic is not real. It's just a trick. It's an illusion. But it is fun to help us remember truth. And what's more important, the trick or the truth? Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. But the trick is fun, too. So, what I need <laughs> is a helper. Yesterday, and I feel like I should make it up to her. Come on up. Go, 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 go. Do you stand over here next to me? I'm going to cut her in half and then make her body parts disappear. You know what I'm No. Morgan, well, your job is very important. You need to hold the blood of Jesus. See that? Do you think that's a red cloth? It really is the blood of Jesus. So you hold on to that. So I want to get on. And I also, I have here is a, uh, a, a bag. And it's empty, as you can see. And it even has a zipper at the bottom. Well, can you unzip? Thank you. And stick your hand through that. So you can see that it's empty. Everybody sees it's empty, right? Well, it, it has a hand. Why don't you give Morgan a hand? <laughs> All right. So you and I have a very, very, very big problem. And that is stinky inner nastiness. Remember that? S I N. Everybody say stinky, stinky inner, inner nastiness. nastiness. It's like it's like this this dark stain that no matter what we do, we just sin. We, we know we're not supposed to lie, but we do. We know we're not supposed to be mean to people, but we do. We know we're not supposed to sass the, the, the speaker, but we do, especially Kevin Ford. Very good at that. And so what happens is what we become very good at is hiding our sin. And that's called being a hypocrite. When you look different on the outside than you are on the inside. And the thing is, human beings, even little kids like you guys, can be very, very good at hiding your sin. You can hide it from your friends. You can hide it. And you can make it disappear so that people don't see it. And you can do that. And you can hide it from your friends. You can hide it from your parents. You can hide it from your teachers and your pastors. But you can't hide it from God. You can't get rid of your sin. But that's what we try to do. We try to look religious on the outside. Look how good I look on the outside. And it doesn't work. You know, hiding it and just saying, well, I'll just pretend that I'm not thinking awful things. And I'll just pretend. Look, you want to see, you know, what, you want to see people sin? Drive on the freeway. And as people cut you off, like, I hate you. In Jesus' name. And you know, again, you're trying to hide your sin. But it doesn't work because God always sees everything. So I have a better plan. Instead of trying to hide our sin, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our sin and we're going to wrap it with the blood of Christ. Mark, when you give me the blood of Christ, and when you open it up and wrap my sin in the blood of Christ, so you take dark sin, wrap it with red blood, and what God does is so amazing, it's so unbelievable, he can take black and red, and Morgan, why don't you pull it out, and look what he can turn it into. Empty, empty, empty. That's what you're supposed to go. Wow! So here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you're if that if that three pounds of meat in between your ears is called your brain is working, you're thinking, Pastor Mark, how do I get my sin to be covered in the blood of Christ? I want my sin to be turned white as snow. That's what God says he will do. Though our sins are like starlight, he'll make it white as snow. I want to know how to do that. Because that's one more than anything else. Is that one more than anything else? Yep. And we'll teach you that this week. So keep paying attention. Morgan, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to run and vlog. Hey everybody, this is Mark. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to the channel. Please visit our website, loop-15.org. We have tons of free resources. Everything's free to help you to become a better, more effective ambassador for Jesus Christ. There's also information at loop-15.org about what my family and I do as missionaries here in New England and really everywhere through the internet. Please share these resources with other people you know through social media. And may God bless you as you take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the lost. We love Jesus. How can we not share him with others? Have a great day.